next court date is on the 14th. Who's that? Who? Uh, Stokes. Kelly Stokes. He's in jail? Okay. He's not, he's not, I think he's out. Oh, <laughs> either way, we could catch him at the courthouse, right? Right. On the 14th. On the 14th, yeah. Hmm. They've changed. Call for, so that's the number we call. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, let's just call the yeah, yeah. A boss, you want to do that? Yes. And, and find out um, if yeah. he's there. This morning, uh, I met Margaret in the city. Okay, so this is Kristen talking, and me and Margaret are leaving the criminal courthouse. Okay, so there's Margaret driving. <laughs> we went to try to find Kelly Stokes. Yeah, because I feel a little bit like we've been stalking him. <laughs> I met him, uh, this is the third time I've spoken face to face with him. The first time was um, at his house while he was engaged in business activities, standing outside, and he really didn't want us to be there. He was very nervous about us. At first we didn't see him for a while, and we were kind of nervous, like, uh, where is he? <laughs> You know, and then he came in the door and Margaret recognized him. He turned around, he nodded at me, and he was with his girlfriend, and I spoke to her and said, how's the baby? So we said hello, and then he asked if we were there for him. And Margaret said, yes, we are. And so he sort of motioned and said, let's go outside and talk about this. We went outside of the courtroom, and I showed him the affidavit, and I asked him to read it and see if there was anything in there that was inaccurate. He read over the entire thing. He said there was no problems with it, that it was all accurate. And he said, um, he signed it. <laughs> Basically, it was it was actually that easy, uh, surprisingly. Very little, really very little drama. He just read it and signed it. And then he said for us to tell Marcus, what up? <laughs> what up to Marcus from Kelly Stokes, so. Then when he signed it, it was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, it felt like a, a huge step to me. Like this thing that we wanted for so long is finally happening. And it's just one step closer to Marcus, you know, to getting the, his petition filed and for Marcus to be freed. So 